Hey guys, it's Sydney from S. Montgomery Admissions Consulting, and today I will be talking to you about the different factors to consider when choosing law schools. So first off, I want to discuss why it's important to choose your law school carefully. Choosing your law school can have tremendous influence on not just your happiness and success in the program, but also your career choices after law school. While many students focus on bar passage rates, which of course are integral to your ultimate ability to practice law, your choice of law school can also affect the level of knowledge and training you have in a particular area of law. This training can help you when trying to get a job in a particular field, especially if you're not planning to go into big law. Ultimately, going to law school is a major financial investment, one that you want to make with clarity and confidence. You should ideally be clear on your reasons for going to law school, and those reasons and motivations should help inform the types of schools and programs you are looking at. Rankings absolutely aren't everything. There are many schools that may be a better fit for you based on clinics, journals, professors, and general atmosphere than schools in the top 14. So, in terms of factors to consider when choosing a law school, there are a few things that you should look at. Keep in mind that these factors depend primarily on your priorities as a student and eventually, like I said, what kind of lawyer you wanna become. Before I go into the factors though, I wanna share with you my own story and tell you that I understand how hard it is to know what goes into choosing a good law school if you don't have other lawyers or professionals to help you making that choice. When I was choosing law schools, I first approached it much like I was going to approach undergrad, which to be honest, I actually did in the worst way possible, but that is another story for another video. I was focused on geography, but in the least productive way possible, choosing to avoid city schools in favor of more suburban schools and not really paying attention to programs, finances, or clinical programs as much as I should have. At 20, I wasn't sure what went into making the kind of decision, and I didn't have other lawyers in my immediate family to ask. Thankfully, truly, during an internship, a summer law associate pulled me aside and basically corrected my list. She told me some of the factors that make for a good law school choice and made me realize how shallow other things were. I ended up applying to the top 10, with the exception of UChicago, as well as Georgetown GW in Maryland. I knew that no matter what, I wanted to practice law in Maryland to be there for my sister. She would be going into ninth grade when I graduated law school, and I wanted to be home to help my parents with her and be a consistent emotional presence in her life. My story leads me directly though into my first point, and that's geography. There are two types of law schools, national and regional. A national law school is a school that has a nationwide network of alumni and job offerings and usually pulls in employment recruiters from a wide array of states and regions. When you graduate from any of these schools, you are able to transplant yourself into almost any employment market, whether that's in LA or New York, DC or your hometown in Minnesota, Tennessee or Arizona. While there is some variance, you will enjoy to some degree a national breadth of options from schools in the top 25. When you choose a school further down the rankings, you generally end up choosing schools that are more regional, which is not at all a bad thing. And there are some exceptions to this based on whether schools have a particular niche in a certain practice area. But just like in real estate, choosing a regional law school is quite dependent on location. The location of your school will not only impact the access you have to great professors and teachers, but also where you may choose to practice over the next three years. So when you're choosing a law school based on geography, you are choosing a law school community where you will live and breathe for the next three years. You're choosing a legal community, a professional bar association that you might be part of. You're choosing the state you will take your bar exam. And you might even be choosing a school that will teach to that particular state's laws. The second factor that I want you to consider is employment type. 
How did previous alumni pass the bar exams? Where are they now? This is a very important consideration, especially when you are looking to go into a specific practice area after school. Make sure you look beyond simply the percentage of students employed six months after graduation. Yes, that's an important statistic, but also look at the type of jobs they're employed at. Do the schools send a number of students into big law if that's what you're looking for? And what about the public interest sector if that's something that you're looking for too? Will there be support for students taking a non-traditional path? You may look at the tendency for schools to send students into clerkships, but you want to look at what level those clerkships are on. Some schools have a high percentage of students going into clerkships, but those might primarily be state clerkships and or trial level clerkships. So if you have goals to clerk on the federal or a pedit level, you can reach out to career services or talk to alumni of the schools to see how feasible this path is for that particular school. You also want to consider clinics and journals. Similar to employment data, the types of clinics and journals at school can impact the amount of practical, hands-on experience you are able to gain while there. Clinics give you a unique opportunity to represent real clients at real hearings, draft policy memos, and advocate for widespread change during your second and third year in school. This experience is invaluable to your resume in future job search. Journals provide you a space to begin delving into scholarly discourse and debate, helping to position yourself as a thought leader on legal issues that you care most about. Choosing a school with clinics, journals, and professors in the area of law that interests you helps ensure that you are able to tailor your law school experience in a personal way that allows you to make sure that you get the information you need to be the best attorney you can be. Don't neglect to research bar passage rates either. Bar passage rates are important because it determines how successful students are in the bar exam. While a 100% passing percentage is unobtainable for the most part, you want a law school that has a good track record for ensuring that its students are prepared and successful on the bar exam. It's as simple as that. Now, there are resources that can help you do some of this research. One such research is the data on the law school transparency reports. The data on the law school transparency reports can be helpful in researching different metrics needed for researching these schools. The Law School Transparency Reports, or LST, began as a project by a group of lawyers who wanted to make their law school application process fair and transparent. The end goal was to provide potential law students the right information that they needed to evaluate the effects of studying at specific law schools. Now, LST has amassed one of the largest sources of law school data Pre-law students are able to put their academic and financial data in and get kind of a ranking or a list of schools and estimated admissions probability that is tailored to them. This fall, even more data will be available to students. Of course, the lists LST produces are not considered rankings and should not be used as the sole guidance for choosing schools or predicting admissions probabilities. Many factors affect an applicant's success, but these lists could help potential law school students weigh their priorities and choices based on past employment data and successes of the law schools in question. Lastly, I just want to encourage you to apply when you're ready and when you're confident that law school is what you want to do. A lot of law school students and graduates say that the best weapon in your arsenal when you are in law school is readiness. So make sure that when you enter law school, you are ready to commit physically, sometimes mentally and emotionally to the hurdles that you are about to face, but also that you are excited about the career you're going to embark on. Preparation is the key to a happy and successful law school career. If you need help thinking through your career goals or your school list, I'm here to help. I invite you to join me in my private Facebook group where I answer questions on the application process on Tuesdays, as well as subscribe to my newsletter that sends admissions tips to your inbox also every Tuesday. Send me a message on Instagram at S Montgomery Consulting or Twitter at S Admissions. I'd love to hear from you. As always, 
If you found this video helpful, make sure to click the like button and subscribe so that you can stay up to date with new admissions videos. I'll talk to you guys next time.